Hey there, my name is Alex and welcome to this Adobe XD tutorial. I am the products creator and so far I have created more than 500 design products. I'm also a course creator and so far I have created more than 30 different products. You can access all of my courses and digital design products in my membership alongside all the practice files for the YouTube videos, including this one, which we are going to work on in this tutorial. So if you're interested, the link is going to be down in the description below. I also have a YouTube channel and you can check it out if you're interested in more Adobe XD and UI UX design content. Without any further ado, let's jump inside today's video. In this video, we are going to create this mobile banking website and this is how it looks like. But before and that we have some animations. So if I click right here, you can see that all of the elements are going to nicely fly into place and all of these elements are going to fly in from the outside. So if I switch it back one more time, you can see that we are starting with a blank empty canvas. All of these elements are going to fly into its position alongside these elements right here. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, this is the practice file. And as I said, you can get this practice file if you join my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of the courses, digital design products, these practice files, private access to the Facebook group and much more. So once again, if you're interested and you want to follow along with this exact practice file, then link is going to be down in the description below. If not, you can use your own resources and you can come up with a design which is similar to this. So if I show you, this is 1920 by 1080 artboard with 12 columns, 60 for the gutter width, and I lower down the opacity of this to 5% just so that you guys can see what I am creating a little bit better and to understand the layout of all of these a little bit better. As you can see, we have a bunch of these components which we created right here and we can use them and reuse them later if we want to. So to get started, let's quickly jump inside and drag and drop our logo. I'm going to position it right here. And all of these elements are taken from Envato Elements. Link is going to be down in the description below if you want to use it because they have everything that you can possibly ever need from images to icons to uh, UI kits to whatever else you need. Then you can check it out if you're interested. Next, what I'm going to create is our navigation. So I'm going to type in right here. I'm going to type in features. And let's see, maybe I can use this light version like this. Hit Control G, put it in a group, call this nav. And once again, because uh, we are at 60 for the gutter width, I'm going to include a stack. And I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this. It's going to be pricing. And now I'm going to put 60 in the distance between these. I can always manually adjust it here or here. So I found it much simpler that way. Next up, we have a legal control D one more time. We have about, and finally we have contact us like so. And I'm going to hit control C to copy it, control V to paste it in. This one is going to be log in. And one more time, I'm going to use the sign up like so. And let's see a uh, sign up. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to just quickly organize these a little bit better for a sign up. I'm going to place it right here. I'm going to make sure that it's white. Move it right around here. And let's see now uh, we need to create a button. So for that button, I'm going to uh, use. Let's see a rectangle. Make sure it's 70. It's two columns wide without any border and I'm going to simply nudge all of this to here. I'm going to use this main blue, call it btnbg for the button background shorter and position it right here. I'm going to make sure this sign up text is in the center like this. Hit control and G, call it btn. And what I'm going to do is create a component, hit control K. And for this component, because we're just going to have this as a website, I'm going to create a hover state just to give it a bit more visual interest. And inside of my hover, I'm going to use this brand gradient like so. And what I can do is nudge it a little bit if I want to. So for example, something like this, or you can create it like this, but I like to position it perhaps something like this. I think it's going to work just fine. Maybe like this. Yeah. I like how that looks like. So this is our hover state. This is a default state. If we hit a quick preview, 
you can see how that looks like. So now let's organize these elements just a little bit better. What I'm going to do right here is move this to here. So we have a one column spacing between. And for this login, I'm going to nudge it right here. I'm going to select all of my elements, make sure they are in the center, hit control and G. And I'm going to call this nav. And let's see, maybe I can place it to be 40 from the top or something like that. So let's see, I think 40 will work just fine. Hold shift one, two, three, four, and that's basically it. Now let's work on our text right here. So I'm going to type in your perfect daily finance companion. Make sure my text is centered and I'm going to make sure I use the biggest size, which is this one. We are using railway in this tutorial, which is free Google font, control and D to copy. Let's see, I can paste this text. I'm going to use this 26 uh, regular, like so. And let's see, maybe I can make it. Let's see what we can do with this. So perhaps 40, I think, because we used 40 throughout this design. So shift one, two, three, four. And I'm going to place these in a folder like this in a group and position this right here, call this text like so. And let's see from here, what we can do is maybe move it 80 or 40, or we're going to see because we're going to have that mock-up in the center. So let's position this to be 80 for now. I think it's going to work just fine, but perhaps even 60. I think it's going to work a little bit better. Move this just below. And now let's focus on that huge circle, which we are going to create right here. So I'm going to hold my shift alt and position this circle, make sure it's in the center. And I'm going to create a much bigger circle, something like this, something like this. I'm going, I think it's going to work just fine. Now let's see something like 140, 150, something like this, I think it's going to work just fine. So this is going to be our BG circle, like so. Make sure it's all the way to the background. Use this gradient once again, and for the gradient, what I can do is perhaps copy that. Maybe I can go to something like this. Perhaps maybe even this can go a little bit outside just so that we can replicate what we did on the button a little bit better. Obviously you can play around with these gradients. You can do whatever you want with them, but I think, I think this will work just fine for this example. Yeah. And one thing I forgot to add is this blur image. So I'm going to quickly drag and drop it inside, make sure it's here and then here. Uh, this is just a blurred texture once again from Envato Elements. And if I uh, click edit right here, what you can see inside is this image. And we have this opacity of 20%. And that's basically it. If I crank it up to 100 and go back to 20, you can see what that does. So if I go back to here, that's our image. And that's going to basically give us this depth that this design needs. Because now you see all of this uh, gradient going on in the background, all of these, they look like lights, which is going to uh, actually perfectly move all of our elements to the front, which is what we actually need. And that's the hover working right here. So I think it works just fine. And it looks quite similar to this circle down below. So a blur image is going to go all the way to the back. And what I'm going to do next is drag and drop this hand, make sure it's in center. So let's see like this. Let's see what we can do with it. So perhaps 60. And I'm going to simply eyeball it and make sure that this phone is kind of in the center, perhaps like this, because these two grid lines are our center point. So basically, this is sort of a good position. So 60 from here, I, I like how that looks like. Finally, let's go ahead and add all of our elements. And before that, I'm going to remove my original button because we created this new one. And let's quickly move this to here, organize things a little bit better. I'm going to basically drag these components in. So I'm going to place this one right here. We have this car payment, we have this new payment. And finally, we have these payments 
right here position this here and let's actually move all of it just above our hand like so move all of them right here just below our text and what I'm going to do is simply eyeball them and position them roughly around here not in the same place obviously so perhaps roughly around here maybe towards the center a little bit more this can go roughly around here this can be here maybe so something like and this I think it's going to work just fine yeah and now what we need are those background circles so you can either uh, duplicate this circle if you want to or you can create a new one and let's position it right here let's call it blur circle like so and I'm going to place it just below this item which is the car payment like so and I'm going to make sure it's a lot smaller something like this I think it's going to work just fine like that I'm going to remove the border what I'm going to do is apply that gradient and I'm going to make sure to orientate it um, roughly the same way that we did so far like this and what we need for it is the background blur so I'm going to use these values 45 6 and 14 so these are the values that work for my case you can always use your own values if you want to and finally I'm going to hit Control C Control V to duplicate it and you can see how it looks like once it's positioned over uh, this image I think it works just fine I'm going to move this right here and make sure it's a tad bit smaller and then position these two components just right here for example somewhere around here and basically that's our design pretty much completed that's how easy it is when you have these components and when you're working with this practice file so now i'm going to actually uh, group all of these just so that we don't have uh, this mess all around our design hit ctrl and g what I can do actually is move this just a tad bit more to here so we have equal space on left and right hand side and perhaps move this just a tad bit down maybe roughly around here or something like that I'm going to call this elements like so and that's our first page completed what we need right now is to create a, a duplicate so I'm going to hit Control and D and this is basically going to be our final version so I'm going to actually move it right around here something like this because in this first version we are actually going to hide all of our elements so I'm going to use this hit shift one two three four one two three four five six for example or actually 40 hit zero two times to hide it hit zero two times to hide this one as well then nudge this out of the way all the way to here so just out of frame zero two times same thing with this just let it be inside of the frame but make sure we remove the border so roughly around here zero two times and because of auto animate I just want to remove the border on this one as well and now finally you can play around with all of these uh, items you can position this roughly around here just make sure that all of them are roughly inside of your artboard zero two times I'm going to move this maybe to here I'm going to move this all the way out to here maybe and reduce its size to roughly around here zero two times move this to here reduce the size zero two times move this to here zero and finally move this all the way down here perhaps zero two times now i'm going to duplicate this one and you can see why i saved the original design because we have all of the elements in place what i want to do for this one is basically hit zero on my keyboard one two three four make sure it's not down zero one two three four and let's see if they are in the same place yes they are I think so control C control V yes they are on the same place and now that we have this text what we can actually do is let's see perhaps we can move the circle in as well so background circle 
And let's see, actually, I'm going to use this one because it's already in the position. Control C, Control V right here, move it all the way down. So basically, this is it uh, in the place. And finally, all of these elements are now going to slide in. You don't have to do anything because we have prepared a website already. So let's now wire it up. I'm going to click to prototype, select the entire artboard like so, drag this handle. I'm going to use time with a delay of one second auto animate because bec uh, because of auto animate we prepared all of these elements left and right easy in out because i want the animation to ease in and ease out and duration of three seconds because i want it to be nice and long click here then drag here it's going to copy and paste the same settings that you did for the previous one and now all it's, it is left to do is to hit preview and see how that looks like I think it works just fine and if I click out of it and s move this file back to my uh, second screen, click right here and then hit uh, preview from here. You can see all of these elements coming into place, nice and smooth, everything works as it should. And finally, let's quickly check the gradient hover. It works as well, so I think this works just fine. Thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you found some value in it. If you want more content like that, make sure to check out my YouTube channel. Link is going to be down in the description below. And remember, if you want to access that project file alongside all the courses, digital design products, more project files, private access to the Facebook group, and so much more, make sure to check out my membership. Link is going to be down in the description below. Thank you once again for watching, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Take care.